Hey YouTube, welcome back to Dwayne's World. So do you want to keep your California trimmer reel and wheels properly greased? Well, this video is for you. You better stay tuned. Uh, yes, proper maintenance on the reel mower. You know, it's probably been about three years now since I purchased my California trimmer. And I absolutely love it. Definitely is one of the best mowers I've ever owned. However, when I first purchased the real mower, and I'm sure if you guys are getting into real mowing, you're quickly realizing that there's a lot of maintenance that goes into actually maintaining your equipment. And you know, yes, I was always familiar with oil changes and air filters and spark plugs and that sort of thing. But when it came to the actual blade and the reel, that obviously was something new I had to get used to. And I definitely feel like I understand that much better now than I did when I first started out. But another thing that I didn't necessarily realize when I first started out was how to grease my mower. And if you own a McLean, this video won't apply to you. But if you own a California trimmer, there are grease ports that have to be serviced. Now I wish a video like this was around when I first started getting into reel mowing and I purchased my California trimmer because I don't believe there are very many videos out there that show you how to grease the California trimmer. And it's not a difficult process. However, if it's something that's brand new to you and something you've never done before, you may have questions on it. And that's why I wanted to put this video together for you guys to kind of show you how to grease the California trimmer. And with that, let's get to the video. So one of the common questions I get is, Dwayne, how often do I need to grease my Zerk fittings on my California trimmer? Well, the first thing, let's start with how many grease fittings actually exist on the California trimmer so you make sure you're getting them all. So the California trimmer has a total of four Zerks that you'll find that require greasing. Now there's two on the reel. You have one here and the second one on the opposite side right there. It's gonna be one on each of the tires, which I'll show you in just a moment. So in order to grease your California trimmer, you are gonna need a grease gun. I recommend getting a manual one like the one I'm showing here in the picture now. You can pick these up for fairly inexpensively on Amazon uh, or wherever you like to pick up a grease gun. And here you can also see the type of grease that I use for my California trimmer um, that's actually loaded already in the grease gun. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grease that fitting right there with my grease gun. And you'll know you have the right amount of grease in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just place my Zerk gun on top here. All right guys, I'm gonna to try to zoom in as close as I can here but as I'm going ahead and pumping the grease into the Zerk fitting, you'll start to see, and I just saw it pop out, but there's a little bit of grease now coming out of that fitting. And I went ahead and just overfilled it a little bit just so you guys can see it coming out. That's how I know I'm full. Now, generally, whenever you are greasing your Zerk fittings, you know, you don't want to keep going. You don't want to keep pumping. You just want to have enough in there uh, to be able to protect the bear. So you guys can see that fitting is good to go. What I do is go ahead and just remove my Zerk gun. Now, if you have any problems getting these off, they generally, if you twist them, they come off fairly easily. As you guys can see there. Come around to the other side. So on this particular grease fitting, you will not see grease come out the same way you did on the opposite side. In fact, what happens is the grease comes out underneath the chain cover here and that you'll ultimately see if you were to take off the cover there. So normally I just give it a couple pumps in there just so I know there's enough grease in there. You don't have to overdo it. Really two to three pumps um, should be good to be able to fill up your, your Zerk fittings. Okay, it's about three pumps there. Again, I'm just gonna twist this guy in order to get it back off. All right. All right, so one thing I normally like to do after I go ahead and grease my fittings, I go ahead and give them a, a clean off here with the rag just to kind of clean them up. And as a quick tip, what I like to do is I purchase these Zerk covers uh, that basically cover up the Zerk fitting when it's not in use. You pick those up on Amazon. I'll, I'll go ahead and post it in the description so you guys can see which ones I'm using. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and move on to the back tires. All right, so what I've done is I repositioned my camera here to be able to show you guys the Zerk fitting uh, from a top angle down. One of the things I highly recommend, and I did this with just like a little Allen wrench here, is I went ahead and cleaned around the axle here. And what happens is a lot of times you get a lot of grass and debris that will build up here and attach to the grease. You want to be able to see what's going on here because as you're filling up the grease, you're going to see it come out of there. Now, if this is all gunked up, that's going to be hard to see. The same thing also with your grease Zerk fitting there. 
If you're not using those caps, at the same time, you want to make sure you clean that off uh, before you apply any grease. That way you're not injecting any dirt um, into the actual fitting itself. But I wanted to point it out because if you're servicing your Zerk fittings, one of the first things you want to do is really clean the area around it. So that way you'll get a much better vantage point of what's actually going on. All right, so with that, let me go ahead and show you guys is how I fill up that Zerk fitting. All right, so one of the things that I do is I go ahead and move my tire so that the revolution is where you can see the Zerk fitting. So that way you can access it from the back here. If your tire is moved in the forward position, you're not going to be able to reach the Zerk fitting. So that's why I do the tire in a way to set it in a certain revolution where I have access to that Zerk fitting. That makes it so much easier so when I go ahead and apply the grease, I'm able to get my Zerk gun in there. So with that, let me go ahead and insert the Zerk gun. You guys can see there, I'm on top of the, I'm on the fitting. All right, and as you should be able to see now, I got some grease popping out there. Yep, you can, I hopefully you guys, it's coming through on the camera. And at that point, I know I'm full. I don't have to keep going. Once I started seeing it bleed out, I know I'm in good shape. Now with that, let's go ahead and move over to the other tire. All right, so as you guys can see here, this last Zerk fitting is a little bit of a tricky one, meaning it's located differently than the left tire. This one's actually located on the inside of the rim. So it's closest to your drive roller chain. That's where you'll find it. Did the same thing. You want to go ahead and just rotate that tire so you can access this particular grease fitting. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and load up the grease and I'll show you guys as I'm filling it up. All right, guys, so I went ahead and attached my grease gun. I'm going to go ahead now and just start filling it up. And as you can see there, it just came out. I'm going to go ahead and give it one more pump here just so you guys can see. There it is. So now I know that that Zerk fitting is all the way filled up. All right, guys, so since I'm at the back of the mower here, I figured I'd just show you guys this little accessory I went ahead and installed here on my California trimmer. This is a rear roller chain lift adapter. And basically what it gives you the ability to do is to be able to adjust your chain up or down. Now, full disclosure on this particular uh, chain adapter. Number one, I did not purchase it myself. I actually got this from Scott at Triangle Reel Mowers. I'll go ahead and post his information um, on the screen here. So if you guys need any parts and or a California trimmer, please reach out to Scott. He will absolutely take care of you. A great guy. Definitely give him your business. But originally he sent me this as part of a care package that he had sent me along with some other goodies you know, from California Trimmer. But one of the things that I'll tell you is that this lift adapter actually doesn't necessarily work for my application because of the fact that I have the handlebar extension kit. When you purchase the handlebar extension kit, it does include a new chain. Now, when you purchase this adapter, it does include a new chain also. However, the chain that was supplied here was too short for me to be able to make this adapter work the way it's designed to. So the way this chain adapter basically works is it gives you the flexibility to be able to move your chain up or down. You may be asking why would I want to do that? In some cases, when you're making a turn with your California trimmer and your roller is actually in the up position, some people may have still had contact with the ground, ultimately scuffing up their turf. So what this gives you the ability to do is to be able to raise that rear roller even higher so that way it come, does not come in contact with the soil even if your roller is in the up position. Or on the flip side, if you want to basically increase the contact with the rear roller and the ground, this gives you that flexibility as well to be able to lower your chain and kind of do the exact opposite. Because of the fact that it does not work in my application doesn't mean it doesn't look cool. So I went ahead and still installed it. But basically all it's doing is it's replaced my master link uh, by having the bracket here. But at the same time, this might be something that you want to look for um, as it might be right for your application. All right, so that's how you grease the California trimmer. Now, I apologize because I don't think I mentioned this during the video, and it's a very important question that a lot of people have asked me, is, Dwayne, how often do I have to grease my California trimmer? Or what is the time interval in between greasings? And I would say if it's during the growing season and you're mowing multiple times a week, and the California trimmer is your primary real mower, I would say about every four weeks. That's a good place to start. Now, you can adjust that up or down just depending on mowing frequency and whatnot. But I think every four weeks is where it should be. All right, so this video is kind of really meant to help out the newer California trimmer owners. Although if you're an older owner like I am, and you're a California trimmer enthusiast, I'm sure you're going to like the content as well. You know, we love watching everything as it relates to the California trimmer. And I still feel like YouTube lacks a lot of information on the California trimmer. 
Although, with that being said, I'm gonna to continue to push out content like this. My next video will more than likely be a backlapping video. I wanna make sure my uh, California trimmer is nice and sharp for when I start mowing the perennial rye. So please look forward to that in the very near future. And with that, be excellent and party on. <laughs>